<laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Goodboy and welcome to the Dota 2 Counter Picking Guides. This is where we look at a specific hero and see who they counter, but also who counters them. In general, Anti-Mage is very very strong against Nucleus. He also tends to lock enemy heroes down and burn their mana pad for escape heroes. He's strong against mana dependent heroes, particularly if it triggers their main abilities, and he's good against solo ganks. Equally on the other hand, he is absolutely wrecked by long silences, long lockdown, and heroes that have high evasion or physical damage. So mana dependent heroes tend to struggle, particularly ones like hard carries, like for example Wraith King who can't trigger his ultimate because all his mana has been burnt away. Nuka struggled as well because Anti-Mage has very very strong spell resistance, and solo gankers, if they're ever to get close enough to cause trouble, tend to find that they either can't outfight him or he blinks away, so their effect is very limited. So Clockworks come in for a fight. The problem is, against Anti-Mage, particularly with this kind of farm, he's actually just going to get completely wrecked. But let's say hypothetically it was the other way around and Anti-Mage was in trouble. All he would have to do is blink away. That blink away would mean he could just simply avoid the damage and continue to farm. Nukas have the same problem. Queen of Pain really is hard countered by him. One, he resists a nuke. Two, he burns her mana so she can't use her abilities or escape items. And then three, he can chase after him, after her, and then burn her. As I mentioned before, Wraith King is in big trouble. Resurrect? I don't think so. <laughs> so in terms of Anti-Mage, the big thing he wants to do is fly away and be free. So anyone that can either silence or mana burn him, like with Doom, or give him a long lockdown, for example the Nets of Meepo or Naga Siren, will completely wreck him. This particularly in the early to mid game. Evasion heroes are also a big problem because he requires to hit people. So anyone with evasion he can't hit. Meanwhile, they usually deal physical damage and they'll Strike take his head off. Down. So Troll Warlord comes in here, makes sure that he can't be hit by Anti-Mage, meanwhile beating him to death. No Very good magic. counter. Doom, of course, is the counter to everyone and Anti-Mage is no exception. The nuke isn't so much the damage, it's the fact that he's just silenced and he can't get away. Then Legion Commander locks him down, beats him to death. Fast, easy, good. Of noble mention is Slada, and this is because, as I said, while Anti-Mage can resist magical damage, physical damage on the other hand is a big problem for him, and so he gets easily killed. In terms of counter items, as I said before, Lockdown is the enemy, so Orchid Malevolence is pretty standard, but so is Scythe of Ice. That will also for late game be a great lockdown. If you're trying to avoid damage from him, go for Ghost Scepter, or even a Talisman of Evasion to avoid physical damage. So in lane you just kind of want to farm. Make sure you just don't get silenced or ganked by a team that can silence you. Providing this isn't happening, you should be pretty effective at getting your farm. In a team fight, on the other hand, you want to make sure again that you're not silenced or locked down, but then if you do get the chance, make sure you're able to A, prey on the weakest, or B, take out any mana dependent heroes and target them. You'll find that their spells and everything you want to do has been completely ruined by you. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and share it. If you'd like more videos of the same content or maybe something a bit different, please follow the video links below.